Alrighty dudes, welcome to the channel. Today, we are going to be doing good old fashioned gummy worms versus Senko, believe it or not. And uh, I love gummy worms, I, I, I just do. You know, that's the wonders of fishing with gummy worms. If the fish ain't eating, hey, that's fine, it's fine. You know, kind of different, but kind of cool. So, that's what we're doing. Gummy worm versus Senko challenge. And we're gonna see what for fish we can catch. Let's get out there and catch some fish. Alrighty boys, so, since this is a lake I have not fished yet, and just to get my confidence up a little bit, we're gonna be starting with the legitimate fish lure, the Gary Yamamoto in the orange and black. It's gonna be rigging this old mama weedless, just like so, weightless, weedless. The um, gummy worm versus Sanko challenge is under way, boys. Bruh. That narrowly very missed my head. Very narrowly missed my head. I'm sorry, my English was a little mixed up there. Listen, I can't talk tonight, okay? In case you missed that, I just almost hit myself thanks to a fish. Running off with it and me dramatically setting the hook at nothing. Basically, this is what happened. Get in here. Whoa, got him, got him, got him. Oh, got him. oh gee, boy. Easy does it, son. I'm not killing you. Boy, he was right underneath my kayak, wasn't you, boy? Got him. Just a dink. Or not a dink, but more or less. Smaller Joe Blow. But, uh, that's a fish. Fish number one for the Senko, boys. That means... I don't know if I explained this or not. I don't think I said this, but catch a fish on one bait, switch over to the next. So that's one for the Senko. Now we're switching over to the good old faithful, not not so faithful maybe, but gummy worm basically is what I'm saying. Going over the gummy worm. So let this thing go. Yeah. Mmm, get it. I'm planning on Texas rigging this sucker. I got a red and green one. I, th I mean, they all have red on them, so... I mean, I guess. Alright. There it is. Not a very supreme Texas rig, to be honest. A little sticky. But, uh... Hey, it's a gummy worm. And who doesn't like a gummy worm? I don't know, I might have to put weight on. We'll have to see. But, uh. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm. Oh, that. Oh, dude, I. Look. Even I would eat that. And I mean, if I would eat it, shoot. Them fish better eat it, let me just say that. So, with that being said, yeet number one. Oh. The gummy worm, boys. I cannot believe I'm doing this. Just can't believe it. What is this world coming to? Oh well, it's 2020. What else do you expect? Eat him. Eat him. There he is. He, he went for it. He went for it. He went for it. He went for it. Come on. I threw it over there on top of a weed patch and popped it off and he pounded off the top of it. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to love this gummy worm action stuff. You know what I mean? Like, Senkos are overrated. Well, I guess I can't say that. I haven't caught a fish on yet, but they're hitting on it. Whoa. Whoa. There went my gummy worm. Went from a Texas rig to a Ned rig and a uh, hooray. That hurt. Whoa. Whoa. 
wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. So I was using out of that other pack that I had. These are twin snakes. What a joke. Share size. My big fat foot. I ain't sharing with nobody. Okay. Those things are weird. Sour. Yeah. Sweet and sour. No crap. So. So. Purple. My normally flavored color for Senko. So like I said, I was using out of that other pack before. And those are normal old gummy worms. These, on the other hand, are some kind of wackos, dude. Definitely not near as cool. Definitely doesn't have the action. It should have. But we'll give him a farewell. No, we won't. Never mind. We're going back to the old normal ones. We're going to go with the clear and red. A little more of a subtle approach. Not that it makes a difference at all, but it's a sticky process, if I must say so myself. There we go. Get that sugar. Get that sugar off my fingers, boys. Boom, there he goes. Fell off. Alright, that does it. That does it for me, boys. I'm sorry. Going back. Back to the Senko. I gave that gummy worm a good hour to prove itself. And it didn't deliver. So, we're back to the Senko, boys. Now. Oh, yeah. Now, just to give you guys a bit of an update and just to let y'all know, I am still fishing this thing top water simply because of the extreme. Boys, that was a bass right there, and he just pounded it, and I hooked the set. I hooked the set? Wait, I hook? No, no, I set the hook, and there was nothing there. Therefore, causing a scientific reaction of tension and, uh, basically tension, and, uh, and about kill me. Doggone it. If fishing ain't the most dangerous thing you've probably ever seen. <sighs> oh, that was hard on me. I almost got myself killed. What was I saying? Dude. What was I saying? I completely forgot what I was saying. And I'm not even lying. Got him. Boom, right there. Got him. Bingo. 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 I literally threw that thing in there, hit the water, and he pounded it. An absolute dink of a fish, if I must say so myself. But, to say the least, I've been fishing for a good old hour. And hey, a fish is a fish. You can't argue. Oh, but that's a little fish. Okay, how about some real big ones now? How, 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 how about it? Where are the stud muffins at? That's what I'm. That's what I'm a wonder, boys. Oh, be quiet! I'm trying to talk. Jeez, some respect here, please. What? Nothing like R-E-S-B-C-T when you're out on the water. Oh. 
No, no, he hit it. He hit it. I'm not even kidding. Alrighty, guys. So here's the deal. We are out of gummy worms officially. So, with that being said, um, I caught with a grand total. So far, I'm not done fishing yet. But so far, I caught two fish on Senko. Gummy worm, not a single fish. So, with that being said, the gummy worm, is it a joke? No, because I had, what, five, six fish hit it? But, would I recommend it over the Senko? No, no, I wouldn't. To eat it, though, on the other hand, absolutely. But to fish with it? So, with that being said, we're going to do a little bit of a continuation here, and uh, throw the old Senko again. Got him, got him, got him. Right underneath my boat, right underneath my boat, right underneath my boat. Oh, he's in the weeds. Easy, 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 cheesy. Son. Look at this. Look at this. In the weeds. Look at this. Just an absolute dink. Healthy little fish, though. Tell you what. These fish. Hook that one right underneath me again. Bring it into my boat and then let it sit when I'm padding forward and they just. Mmm, munch it. Just simply soaked myself. Tell you what, the size of the fish that I've caught today were obviously nothing to brag about. Um, had quite a few hits, but they were all little fish. So this lake, obviously, either I'm not fishing the right spot, the correct location, or this lake needs to do just a winker doodle more growing one or the other. Got him, right there, right there, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh. Stop. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for tonight. My opinion on the old, um, Gummy Worm versus Senko challenge deal. It's not a joke. Hopefully, for the next time, you can walk into the store and you're like, Dude, bro, those gummy worms look amazing. Stick to eating them. S seriously, dude. Don't be like me and go buy gummy worms and throw them in the water because... Basically, what I just did, boys, is I just wasted a whole pack of gummy worms. Of the entire universe that could have been eaten by all of humanity on flipping fish. It's terrible. What's this world coming to anyway? But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.